Hello, and welcome to the Bright Star Secondary Charter Academy Class of 2020 Virtual Graduation Ceremony. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the Good evening, and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2020 for Bright Star Secondary Charter Academy. My name is Daryl Garris, and it is an honor to celebrate with you. Buenas tardes y bienvenidos a la ceremonia de graduación para la clase de 2020 de Bright Star Secondary Charter Academy. Mi nombre es Daryl Garris, y es un honor celebrarlo con ustedes. Tonight's video was pre-recorded during the last week of May. Given the rate of change in circumstances and knowledge in our world, much may have changed over the past few weeks. This year's ceremony is unlike any other in our history. And now I have a microphone and a captive audience. I hope you've settled in for a long evening. Seniors, if you'd like to meet your microphone and speakers now, I'll never know. El video de esta noche fue pregrabado durante la última semana de mayo. A dado del cambio en las circunstancias y el conocimiento de nuestro mundo, mucho puede haber cambiado en las últimas semanas. La ceremonia de este año es diferente a cualquier otra en nuestra historia. Y ahora que tengo el micrófono y una audiencia captiva, espero que te hayas establecido para una noche larga. Before we begin our program, I would like to take an opportunity to thank all of our Bright Star School staff, students, and families for your dedication, flexibility, creativity, and support, especially over the past few weeks and months. Among countless new tasks that were not on anybody's job descriptions, our staff have taken on a variety of new responsibilities, from packet delivery couriers, like Uber Eats for homework, to social media video producers and sanitation experts. In particular, I would like to thank our maintenance, office, and operations teams. They are often our unsung heroes and we will need to continue to rely on them even more in the days and weeks to come. Our families have been patient and gracious with us as we've learned how to launch an online school in a single day, and our students have persevered to continue to do their best while juggling a myriad of new and changing circumstances and commitments. Even when we are physically apart, our Bright Star family is stronger together. We are also stronger together because of our many partners who provide for our students and our families. We are grateful to After School All-Stars for inspiring our students through a balance of academic, artistic, wellness, and leadership opportunities, as well as a safe space to spend their time after school. This year, we were also blessed to move to a new home at Los Angeles Southwest College. This partnership has opened doors of academic opportunity through dual enrollment and opened literal doors to facilities, a gym, dance studio, theater, science labs, and athletic stadium. Thank you to President Dr. Juan, the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department, and the entire team at LASC for welcoming us to campus, for keeping our Bright Star family safe, and for your patience as we settled in. Thank you also to our leaders at the national, state, and local levels who have let data, science, and the belief that every life is valuable be our guides for decision-making during this time. As our students have heard me say many times, 
safety is always our top priority. Seniors, tonight we celebrate your achievement in reaching an important milestone in your life, high school graduation. Your senior year and graduation may not look or feel like anything you anticipated, but that is all the more reason to celebrate. The class of 2020's experience this year is one we will never forget. Thinking back to all the things that went wrong on the first day of senior year, a grade level assembly without air conditioning to talk about rules, not enough shade, a dust storm from the West Campus field during lunch, swarms of ants and oh, a lack of scheduled classes. I suppose things weren't that bad. You have persevered through what has certainly been my most challenging school year, but we made it. As we look back on your high school careers, you're incredible not only for what you have done and accomplished, but for the person that you are. As your next chapter begins, I hope you remember that you are forever and always part of the Bright Star family. Tonight is not only a celebration of our students, but of our entire Bisca family. Students, families, staff, board members, partners, friends, and community. Though only our students' names will be called in tonight's ceremony, we know that they did not reach this milestone alone. Typically, I would now ask our seniors to thank our audience with a standing ovation and a round of applause. Seniors, instead, please take a moment to hug your loved ones, text a staff member, or express your gratitude in whatever other ways are safe, possible, and within public health guidelines. Esta noche no es solo una celebración de nuestros estudiantes, sino también de toda nuestra familia Bisca. Estudiantes, familias, personal, miembros de la junta, socios, amigos y la comunidad. Aunque solo se llamaran los nombres de nuestros estudiantes en la ceremonia esta noche, sabemos que no llegarán a este punto solos. Por lo general, ahora les pedir, pedirá a nuestros alumnos que agradezcan a nuestra audiencia con una ovación de pie y una ronda de aplausos. En cambio, alumnos, tómense un momento para abrazar a sus seres queridos, enviar mensajes de texto a un miembro del personal o expresar su gratitud de cualquier manera que sea segura posible y dentro de las reglas de salud pública. The COVID-19 pandemic is something that I wish never happened and I'm sending strength and love to all who have been impacted. Because this evening is a celebration of all the learning our students have done, I found myself grappling with what we can learn from this crisis. To be sure, anything we learn from this crisis would never outweigh the damage it has caused, but I'm hopeful that we can learn together for a brighter future. First, I hope no student will ask, when will I ever use this when studying graphs in math and science class? As we work together to flatten the curve, the shape of graphs, rates of change, running averages, exponential growth, and many other mathematical concepts have quickly become part of our daily conversation. Never before has data analysis received so much free publicity. I anticipate the ability to fluently and confidently understand data will continue to be an important skill for critical media literacy in the years to come. While my hope for a heightened interest in mathematics is perhaps a bit self-serving, there are other areas in which I'd like to highlight some potential learnings. And since our spring, College experience lesson travel plans were canceled this year. I'd like to talk about a different CEO, community, equity, and leadership. One, community. While this may not be new information, it is now abundantly clear that we are connected as one global community. As Bright Star's core value of Ubuntu recognizes, our humanity is shared, and it is critical that we recognize that our choices have impacts on others, both within our local and global communities. In any context, there is no us versus them. I'd propose that we over me become our new mantra as we place the needs of the collective over the wants of ourselves. At Bright Star, we are a family where we cheer on and lean on one another. Graduates, as you leave our campus, may you shine bright by extending that same grace and generosity to all whom you encounter. Two, equity. As we move forward, a focus on equity must be at the forefront of our minds, actions, and funding. The impact of the pandemic has been disproportionately more harmful for low-income communities and communities of color. Although this has been broadcast as news, this is not surprising. We know that a lack of investment 
and belief in our communities has created the conditions of educational inequities, economic disparities, and lack of resources like affordable health care and quality food that have created an environment of systemic oppression that leads to intergenerational poverty and is ripe for infection. Thank you to the many leaders in Los Angeles for your focus and action in bringing accessible testing, affordable housing, and economic support for all residents in our community during this crisis. I hope that we capitalize this moment for progress and look forward to a continued conversation and focus on equity-driven action in the years to come. Three, leadership. Leadership matters. At Bright Star Schools, our vision is to prepare our students to become leaders who act with integrity and champion equity to enrich our communities and the world. Graduates, we need all of you to champion equity as leaders, not just people who look like people who have traditionally been in positions of power. Shout out to the women leading New Zealand, Germany, Finland, and Taiwan, whom the New York Times have noted have been particularly successful in fighting the coronavirus. Leadership matters. 2020 is a year we will never forget for a number of things we wish hadn't happened. But it is also a year in which 93% of BISCA's class of 2020 will reach the legal voting age of 18 prior to the November 3rd election in the United States. While it's possible and necessary for all of us to lead from whatever seat we are in, it is also important to put people in positions of power who will represent and advocate for all of our interests. In the words of a very wise poet, Taylor Swift, they aren't gonna change this. We gotta do it ourselves. Registering to vote takes just minutes and the easiest way to register is at vote.org. If you can sign up for a Snapchat account, you can sign up to vote. Many of us have been asking if we are out of the woods and when things will go back to normal. Well, I can't wait for the day that we are able to safely celebrate together in person. I hope we don't go back but instead move forward by getting better together because the old normal wasn't working. Lastly, thank you, class of 2020. Some of you have only had to put up with me for two years, while many of you have for seven. Regardless, we've been through a lot together. Our highs have included field days, LELs, showcase of the arts, softball and soccer championships, catching up on video chat, and many other memories. Our lows have included missing uniform polos, confiscated cell phones, color-coded buses, hospital room visits, and funerals. Thank you for uplifting one another and me throughout our journey thus far. I'm sad to say see you later, but I'm even more excited for your next chapter. Although our seniors will no longer be students at our school, they will forever be part of the Bright Star Schools family. The Bright Star School's Alumni Support and College Success Program supports all of our graduates, free of charge, in thriving in higher education for up to six years following high school graduation. But before I conclude, I'll share one last punny thought for you to roll your eyes at. Let me find out that you muted this entire speech, just wishing I would say less. Regardless, you have a loving home at Bright Star, always. No cap, period. Please join me in welcoming the class of 2020's Alumni Success Coordinator, Ms. Graciela Aparicio. Thank you. Class of 2020, there's something about your class that had such an impact on me. I met many of you over the summer for the college workshops and I was able to see early on how you take initiative and become leaders. From students in your class volunteering to learn and present a workshop during the summer to other students starting a group to improve BISCA's culture, your class has shown how strong and capable you all are. You all have taught me so much from understanding your slang and keeping up with the latest movies and music trends, but most importantly, how to keep going despite adversity. I am excited to see you all embark on this new journey of your life, and I'm more excited to see what the future holds for you. Even though this year brought all of us unexpected surprises, I know it taught you all great skills on adapting. I can say that class of 2020 is one no one will forget. You all as a class and as a generation have shown us that life throws unexpected turns and all we have to do is make the best of those turns. Please do not lose your ambition, your dedication and strength that you have shown me. 
since I got to know you. Congratulations on this great achievement. You should all be extremely proud. As you culminate your high school career, you will transition into a new journey. You are now part of the Alumni Support and College Success Program. The Bright Star Schools Alumni Support and College Success Program offers robust, holistic, and academic social emotional support. Your higher education path will likely be as unique as you are. I will support you in navigating higher education so that you thrive, persistent, and graduate from a two or four year college or university, vocational school, or job training program. My goal is to help you become prepared for a sustainable career that will give you joy and economic success. Make sure to seek out support and ask questions as you begin your journey. We will work together to make sure that you thrive in and graduate from higher education. Clase de 2020. Hay algo especial de esta clase que ha tenido un impacto en mi vida. Yo los conocí a varios de ustedes en el verano durante el taller de colegio y pude ver tempranamente cómo todos ustedes toman iniciativa y son líderes. De ver a estudiantes ofrecerse y a aprender a, y presentar un taller durante el verano a un grupo de estudiantes, crear un grupo para mejorar la cultura de la escuela, esta clase ha demostrado la fuerza y capaz que son. Todos ustedes han enseñado, me han enseñado tanto, pero lo más importante es que es de seguir aprendiendo y seguir adelante de, a pesar de la adversidad. Yo estoy emocionada para ver a todos ustedes empezar este nuevo viaje de sus vidas y estoy más emocionada de ver lo, de ver lo que van a alcanzar en el futuro. Aunque este año nos trajo varias sorpresas inesperadas, yo sé que les enseñó varias habilidades de adaptarse. Yo puedo decir que la clase de 2020 es una que nadie se va a olvidar. Todos ustedes, como clase y generación, han demostrado que la vida nos da varios giros inesperados y que todos lo que podemos hacer es aprovechar a lo máximo, a lo máximo estos giros. Por favor, no pierdan la ambición la dedicación y la fuerza que me han demostrado desde que los conocí. Felicidades por este gran logro. Todos deben estar extremadamente orgullosos. A, de, a terminar este, esta parte de la preparatoria, pasarán a un nuevo viaje. Ahora son parte del programa Apoyo de Exalumnos y Éxito Universitario de la Escuela Bright Star. El programa de apoyo a exalumnos y éxito universitario de la Escuela Bright Star ofrece un apoyo académico y socioemocional sólido e integrado. Sus trayectorias de educación superior probablemente serán tan únicas como ustedes. Los apoyaré en la navegación de la educa educación superior para que prosperen y se gradúen de una universidad o colegio de dos o cuatro años, escuela vocacional o programa de capacidad laboral. Mi objetivo es ayudarles a prepararse para una carrera sostenible y que les brinde alegría y éxito económico. Trabajaremos juntos para asegurar que ustedes triunfen y se gradúen de la educación superior. At this time, we will hear from this year's salutatorian, the student with the second highest GPA in the class. Please welcome Norma Garcia. En este momento escucharemos de la saludatorian de este año, el estudiante con, con el segundo promedio de calificación más alta. Por favor, aquí está el estudiante Norma García. Gracias. Good afternoon, students, staff, friends, and family, and welcome to the 2020 commencement ceremony. As we have continuously heard over the last few weeks, we know that this graduation is not what we had hoped for. But nonetheless, our class continues to overcome hardships like these. As I sat down to write the speech, I reminded myself of everything our class has experienced over the last few years, both positive and negative. We started our high school experience during an unprecedented political campaign. We have seen teachers, counselors, and administrators come and go. We moved campuses between our junior and senior year and ended our high school experience early due to a global pandemic. In the midst of these moments, our class never fails to make the most out of, it, of the experiences we did have. Between retreats, LELs, CELs, and school dances, I remembered a few of the moments we may have forgotten. The football team we had sophomore year was filled with plenty of jokes, many accidents, and let's not forget those bus rides home. Our school assemblies on the blacktop 
were often a mess between tug of war, dance competitions, and realizing that Bobby is good at double dutch. And finally, the one day Emmanuel accidentally took his Chromebook home. As we remind ourselves of what we have experienced over the last few years, I want to thank all of our teachers and staff who have had a profound impact on our graduating class. Dr. Pandey has been my teacher for three years and has always had my back, even during a particularly stressful week for me when she so kindly brought me lunch. I did in fact forget to check in with her that one day, so it rotted in her classroom. But nonetheless, thank you Dr. Pandey for always being there for me, and yes, I still owe you lunch. All of us had Mr. Ross during our junior year, senior year, or as a chaperone for an LEL. I think we can all agree that Mr. Ross has always given us the best advice and ensures that we take care of our mental health. So thank you, Mr. Ross, for always believing in me. To our counselor, Ms. Gonzalez, thank you for the endless hours you put in to make sure that all of us made it here to graduation. While we crowd your office and always forgot to check Google Classroom, we thank you for always giving us a safe space to talk. And last, but certainly not least, it is no surprise that our yearbook dedication went to our principal, Mr. Garris. While Mr. Garris has been our principal for only two years, he has known many of us for six. Anyone who knows Mr. Garris knows that he would do anything for his students. Not only does he provide the best snacks and always tries to keep up with our lingo, but Mr. Garris is the type of person to drive for hours to support our student athletes and be there for students and families when times are tough. I am extremely proud to be attending UC Berkeley, and like you, Mr. Garris, I hope to continue speaking out about the issues that are most important to us. And of course, quoting Taylor Swift's Only the Young Whenever Possible. And finally, parents and families, thank you for all of the time, energy, and sacrifices you have made over the last decade to help us achieve our dreams. To my parents, and I am sure many others, I appreciate your patience as I stayed up late, used up all the printer ink, and often gave you an attitude. Your sacrifices and wisdom have been my main source of encouragement through all my hardships. To my peers, I would like to say a few things. Up to this point, our success has been quantified by numbers, grades, and test scores, where success should be defined and determined by you. For me, success is defined as my ability to learn, create, and inspire with what I was given, and that defini definition varies among all of us. Moving forward, I hope we can all take everything we've learned and been inspired by to inspire others and continue making positive contributions to the world. Class of 2020, congratulations. We will now hear from Los Angeles Unified School District Board member, Mr. Nick Melvoin. Hello, Bright Star graduates, families, teachers, staff, and distinguished virtual guests. I'm your proud LUSD board member and want to wish you all a huge virtual congratulations on your high school graduation. I know this is not the graduation you or your families had been expecting, and I can spout platitudes about how you were going far in life and now is just the beginning, and you are, and it is. But it's also okay to not be okay, to be bummed or pissed off. It's okay to feel joy about graduating at the same time as sadness over missing the end of your senior year. It's okay to know that this journey was about more than just walking across the stage and getting your diploma, and still think it's really unfair that you didn't get that moment. And if this weren't being recorded, I'd use some language that probably better summarizes how you feel right now. I was relaying all of this to my family a few weeks ago as we celebrated my grandmother's 90th birthday over Zoom after an hour helping her download Zoom. And I was reminded of my grandfather's high school graduation, or lack thereof. My grandfather turned 18 in January 1943, and in March was drafted to fight in World War II. So they gave him his diploma three months early, and he shipped off to basic training, and then off to Europe. He never got to finish his record-setting basketball season, which may be surprising if you've ever seen me play basketball. 
he never had a graduation. And I say this not to negate what you're feeling right now, but because maybe there's comfort in knowing you're not alone and feeling disappointment about how your high school career has wrapped up. And as my grandfather's class was known as the greatest generation for their service in the war and beyond, your class may rightfully get its own distinction in a few years. You all have not had it easy. When I look at the class of 2020, I see a generation born into the aftermath of 9-11 who has lived their entire lives with our country at war, experienced two recessions, school shootings, a presidential impeachment, environmental upheaval, persevered through all that to make it to their high school graduation, only to have a pandemic rob you of your senior spring. And all you got as a consolation prize was Tiger King. I see a generation of young adults who are making their own sacrifices and serving their country in a different way by staying home. This moment in our history will not define you, but it will become part of you. From the Zoom celebrations, to the random acts of neighborly kindness, to the times of feeling lonely or scared, to a profound new appreciation for toilet paper. And what you do with that, the experience, not the toilet paper, well, that's up to you. And if you're feeling unmoored by this, if it's disrupted your plans, made you question some assumptions, that's okay. It's been said that the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago, but the second best time is now. The second best time is now. I hope you won't fall into the trap that so many of us have and spend too much time dwelling in the past. Instead, dwell in possibility, for it's in that possibility that I have such high hopes and expectations for the class of 2020. Congratulations to the first ever high school class to graduate virtually. I expect many more firsts from you all. Now, singing our new and original anthem on behalf of the Vocal Club, please welcome Carlene and Mr. Eberhardt. The sky eagles fly high. The sky eagles soar through the sky. We come from all over, we love on each other. My family, my Bisco brother, my sister, we all stick together for what's so for better. I love my eagles, my family, my people. We will now hear from the class of 2020's valedictorian, Francisco Rodriguez Santana. Worry, fear, and uncertainty are a few words that can be used to describe the current state of the world, feeling some of us are feeling more than others. For 2020 graduating seniors, we find ourselves in an especially unique predicament as these sentiments directly contradict the feelings of hope, accomplishment, and sense of direction that graduation tradition has promised us. However, as opposed to focusing on the ceremonies and activities that we were unable to have, I would like to focus on what we have accomplished. Because at the end of the day, what has been going on over the past few months does not define our growth, struggles, and successes of the last four months, last four years of our lives. We may not have a large ceremony to celebrate our successes, but that does not lessen what we have accomplished. As such, I would like to commemorate the class of 2020 for being one of the most adaptive classes in Bisca history. From campus changes to various current event issues that took us by storm, we, and the school as a whole, are much more different from who we were four years ago. As most of my family will tell you, entering high school, I was timid, shy, and above all, reserved. Now, I am confident, confrontational, and forthcoming. I'm not, but I have definitely improved in all of these aspects, thanks to Bisca. Only at Bisca could you be asked, how are you, by any student, teacher, or staff, and have them genuinely be interested in your response. Only at Bisca could you walk into a random class from your grade level and know the names of most, if not all, students. Only at Bisca can a small group of friends clapping their friends on quickly become the whole school clapping nonsensically. For someone who hears about our school through this speech, they might think our school is a cult, but I assure you, we are not. In reality, these various aspects are mere testaments to how strong our community is. Through our high school, we may have learned how to write essays, how to express ourselves in creative forms, and how to solve mathematical equations. But in a more real sense, we were taught much more than that. I can't sit here and pretend that I'm not afraid of the future. If anything, I'm probably one of the most afraid from our class. 
However, I could confidently say that we are all capable of success, whatever that may look like, if we put our hearts to it. I just ask that whatever you do with your lives, that you continue to work hard and not give up. All of our paths may be different, but none are impossible. With that being said, I'd like to thank teachers and staff for doing more than they have to in order to help us, reminding us that teaching is more than a job to them. I'd like to thank my parents and sisters for being a constant source of motivation and being so understanding. And I'd like to thank my friends for putting up with me despite how negative and deserved I could be. Once again, as a student and friend, I wish you the best of luck and congratulations, Class of 2020. We will now hear from Ms. Monica Gonzalez, counselor of the Class of 2020. Congratulations, Class of 2020. You are finally making the transition from living a more sheltered life in high school into the complexities of adulthood. Many of you have been dreaming about this day since you first stepped foot on the Bisca campus, and it has finally arrived. I know what you are all thinking. Yes, but this is certainly not the way you imagined your senior year would end. It's something that none of us could have predicted. Well, at least no one at Bright Star. This pandemic has really taken us for a spin, and it's been tough for many, but especially for all of you and all the classes of 2020 across the world. You're not alone. Sadness, frustration, and even feelings of anger are all normal to be experiencing for the last three months. An even odder feeling is that of loss, a mourning of all those lost rites of passages you will not be able to share with others that have come before you and many that will come after. At the same time, there's a peaking sense of excitement for closing up the Bisca chapter in your life and opening up another, life after Bright Star. Everyone at Bisco wishes that we could give you everything that you deserve, an in-person graduation, a memorable prom, and much, much more. And although I want to honor and respect those feelings, I also wanna follow through with the promise I made to all of you as my students, my children, when I became your counselor, to always tell you what you need to hear and not what you want to hear. In her book, Letter to My Daughter, Maya Angelou wisely states, you may not control all the events that happen to you, but you can decide not to be reduced by them. So what does that mean for you? It means that it is time to find motivation or that spark that will allow you to begin to set aside what is currently stifling you. We need to be able to move on with our lives because nothing is pausing. Before we know it, many of you will be heading to college in the fall, virtually or in person. We're not sure for all of you. Many of you will have to navigate the workforce in an even more competitive and changing market due to all the recent layoffs and even larger numbers of individuals needing and seeking full-time employment. Yes, this is certainly not what we expected to be dealing with at the end of the 2020 academic year. but. It's the hand that we were dealt. We have no choice but to accept this challenge for what it is, the good, the bad, and the ugly. We must rise to the occasion and begin to take action towards the future. This won't be the only time you'll have to rise above a not so desirable situation. It is only the beginning and many challenges ahead. Although Bisca can't change those challenges for you, we will do all in our power to listen to support and guide you in what we can. So, as you have had to do now, do then. Acknowledge and honor your feelings, not allowing others to define them for you. Sift through it all to get to what really matters, meaning what will really change your life. Make a plan, gather the support, and continue to move forward towards your goals. But for now, Sit back and embrace all the positive energy that is being sent your way. Today is all about you. Your journey through those ups and downs, your successes and challenges, and all the love that you have and will continue to get from Bisca. You may not know it, but the relationships you have built here with the peers and staff will be what will help you get through 
either the next six months or the next six years. As the brave and caring Winnie the Pooh once said, how lucky am I to have something to make saying goodbye so hard? We will dearly miss you, class of 2020. Felicidades, clases del 2020. Finalmente están transicionando de su juventud protegida a la vida más compleja de un adulto. Muchos de ustedes han estado soñando con este día desde que pusieron pie por primera vez en Bright Star. Y finalmente han llegado. Sé lo que están pensando. Sí, pero esto no era la forma en que imaginábamos que terminara su año último. Es algo que nadie podría haber predicho, al menos nadie en Bright Star. Esta pandemia realmente nos ha dado un giro y ha sido difícil para muchos, pero especialmente para todos ustedes y para todas las clases del 2020 en el resto del mundo. Tristeza, frustración e incluso sentimientos de enojo son sentimientos normales durante los últimos tres meses. Un sentimiento aún más extraño es el de la pérdida. Un luto por todos los eventos perdidos que típicamente simbolizan el pasaje final que no podrán compartir con otros que vinieron antes de ustedes y los que vendrán después. Al mismo tiempo, hay una sensación de entusiasmo por cerrar el capítulo de Vizca y abrir otro, la vida después de Vizca. Todos en Vizca deseamos por darles todo lo que se merecen, una graduación en persona, un prom memorable y mucho, mucho más. Y aunque quiero honrar y respetar estos sentimientos, también quiero cumplir con la promesa que les hice a todos ustedes como mis alumnos, mis hijos, cuando me convertí en su consejera. La promesa de siempre decirles lo que necesitan escuchar y no lo que quieren escuchar. En su libro, Carta de mi hija, Maya Angelou dice, sabiamente, es posible que no puedan mantener control sobre todos los eventos que les suceden, pero pueden decidir no verse reducidos por ellos. Se estarán preguntando qué significa esto para nosotros. Y lo que es, es que es hora de encontrar esa motivación, esa chispa que les permitirá comenzar a dejar al lado lo que nos ha sofocado actualmente. Necesitamos poder seguir adelante con nuestras vidas porque nada se detiene. Antes de que nos demos cuenta, muchos de ustedes se dirigirán a la universidad en el otoño, virtualmente o en persona, no sabemos realmente para todos. Muchos de ustedes tendrán que navegar por la fuerza laboral en un mercado aún más competitivo y cambiante debido a todos los despidos recientes e incluso un número astronómico de personas que necesitan y buscarán empleo. Sí, esto no es lo que los esperábamos y estar lidiando al final de este año académico. Pero al mal tiempo, buena cara. No tenemos más remedio que aceptar este de desafío y usarlo como una lección. Después de lamentar, tenemos que seguir nuestros sentimientos con acción hacia el futuro. Esta no será la única vez en que tendrán que superar una situación no deseable. Es solo el comienzo de muchos desafíos por adelante. Y aunque Vizca no pueda cambiar esos de desafíos para ustedes, haremos todo lo posible para escucharlos, apoyarlos y guiarlos en lo que podamos. Entonces, hagan en el futuro como han tenido que ser hoy. Reconozcan y honren sus sentimientos, pero sigan adelante con acción y la frete en alto. Por hoy, siéntense y acepten toda la energía positiva que se les está enviando. Hoy se trata de ustedes, su trayecto a través de estos cuatro años, sus éxitos y sus desafíos y todo el amor que tienen y seguirán recibiendo de su familia en Bright Star. Es posible que no sepan, pero las relaciones que han estado establecido 
aquí con sus compañeros y con el personal serán lo que los ayudarán a superar los próximos seis meses o seis años. Como el valiente Winnie Pooh dijo una vez, qué suerte tengo de tener algo que hace despedirme ser tan difícil. Los extrañaremos mucho, clase del 2020. And now, the time has arrived for each student in the class of 2020 to be individually recognized for their achievement. Kimberly Lisette Antonio Aragón. Lorena Karina Aquino Ortega. Robert Alexander Ayala. Jason Baltasar. Brian Alexander Barahona Amaya. Jose Alexander Batres Hernandez. Yesenia Bautista. Joaquín Gerardo Bello. Dalia Elizabeth Blanco Funet. Ian Stephen Brown. Jesús Fernando Bueno. Edwin Guadalupe Cajero. Steven Matthew Cárdenas. Joel Ángel Castillo Villegas. Alex Jesús Castro Ramírez. Jaden Lamond Cato. Jason Steven Chavez. Tiffany Natalie Chavez Arguera. Justin Cortez Hernandez. Daisy Giselle Costilla Jaimes. Arcel Jamar Crawford. Dier Jamal Crump. Jasmine Liliana Cruz. Kevin Josue de Leon Chakash. Kayleen Jahaira de Paz Martinez. Myla Marie Ellis. Edward Enciso. Jesse Estrada. Brian Javier Estrada Ledesma. Nestor Alonso Fletes. Emanuel Flores. Itzia Teresa Flores Méndez. Jesús Fuentes. Alonso García. Dina García. Norma Asunción García Galván and Salutatorian for the class of 2020. Jale de la Huertas García. Eduardo Ricky García Morales. Camila Valentina Girón Vela. Devin Armando Gómez. Marari Zilitaí González Hernández. Nelson Daniel González. Samantha Elizabeth González. Victor Manuel Guerra López. 
Jonathan Guillen Cruz. Pablo Roberto Guzmán León. Roy Guzmán. Corey Lee Hammond. Alan Hernandez. Ashley Nicole Hernandez. Fernando Hernandez. Joel Alfonso Hernandez. José Luis Hernández Martínez. Julisa Lisbeth Hernández Martínez. Viviana Hernández. Andrea Hernández Ramírez. Enrique Juárez. Carlos Alberto Limón. Tayana Montserrat Llamas Méndez. Denise López. Samantha Alida López Jiménez. Mekan Jackson López Vicente. Cynthia Janet Luna Bonilla. Saúl Alfredo Luna Díaz. Jonathan Adrian Madrigal. Helen Adrian Martinez. Luis Manuel Martinez Jr. Orlando Martinez Olivares. Miles Terrell McClelland. Kyla Joyce McKinney. Katie Juliet Mederos Davila. Edward Anthony Mendez. Franklin Ringzai Men. Matthew Milan. Jennifer Lisette Montano Mejia. Emily Ariana Morales Hernandez. Jorge Alberto Morales. Sarah Ashley Muro. Edgar Eric Nario Sanchez. Kevin Nava Diaz. Karen Ingrid No Mendez. Hector Josue Nunez. Alondra Perez Salgado. Janaya Sandrea Peterson. India Crystal Post Oats. Kyra Post Oats. Melanie Alexandra Reyes. Ricardo Reyes Rico. David Adonai Rivas Valles. Francisco Rodriguez Santana, valedictorian for the class of 2020. Jordan Ariel Rosales. Edith Michelle Rutiaga. Christopher Saavedra Mendez. Guadalupe Sanchez. 
Julian Waldo Sanchez Justin Antonio Sanchez Juan Carlos Santa Cruz Hector Ivan Santiago Owen Serrano Maria Luisa Somoza Jennifer Beatriz Soriano Castro Nahom Tedros Tesfaledet Ashley Toscano Andrea Gabriela Ulloa Munguia María Fernanda Villatoro Aguilar Mario Ernesto Villatoro Aguilar Jordan Williams Isaiah DeWitt Yehedigo
And now we move to the turning of the tassel. The turning of the tassel from right to left symbolizes a student's transition from candidate to graduate. Y ahora llegamos al cambiar la borla del birrete. El cambio de la borla de derecha a izquierda simboliza la transición del estudiante de candidato a graduado. Estudiantes, es tiempo de cambiar su borla de derecha a izquierda. Felicidades, clase 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020.